And again, YouTube. <coughs> um, right. Uh, haven't had a video for ages. I've been away and stuff and playing Warcraft. Uh, but just wanted to do a quick um, instructional video on vibrato. Sorry, I'm just cleaning out this. It's a little monkey. It's a bit minging. Anyway, um, right, so there's three types of vibrato that, um, that are probably worth covering that I can do one less well than the others. Um, but basically, what, what is vibrato? Vibrato is oh, giving a warbly sound to your notes. So, for example, this is without vibrato. And this is with. Pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so you, you can you can hear the difference. One goes, the other one remains flat. And I think that's a, along with bends, that's quite a um, quite a key thing about blues music, as far as I can tell. Um, that if you're wailing on the note, and even if you aren't, sometimes, uh, but mostly when you're wailing, mm -hmm. you don't want you don't want it just to be. You want some kind of vibrato, that that kind of effect. Um, and now there's three, like I said, there's throat vibrato, diaphragm vibrato, and hand vibrato. And I'm finding it very difficult to say vibrato today. <coughs> but anyway, throat. I'll start with the most difficult one for me is throat vibrato. Um, which basically means, to me anyway, um, I, I don't much like it, I'm not very good at it, um, closing your, your throat with your tongue, if that makes sense. <laughs> so basically what you're, what you're doing is, if you're inhaling, it's like you're saying but really, really quickly and less pronounced. Um, I find it easier on the exhale um, notes than the inhale ones, uh, but like I said, I'm not very good. So here is a, hopefully, a throat vibrato, uh, four or five, something. I told you I couldn't do it anyway, um, but like I said, I, I I don't I don't like it very much. It sounds too kind of staccato, but I guess it has its place, um, and it's very similar to to the action that you're giving when you really attack notes. So if you if you if you play like. Um, That's that's without any attack, and that's that's using none of that percussion in the back of your throat. But if you do it with attack, it sounds like <laughs> two differences. It's a similar thing, but just less pronounced, and I can't do it very well. Uh, so the next one um, is. Throat, uh, sorry, uh, diaphragm vibrato, um, which is basically using your diaphragm. I think this is the easiest. I didn't even like learn it. It just happened naturally. Um, this, I, I think it's easy. Um, and basically what you're doing is using a diaphragm to vary the speed of the, the air coming in or, or going out. Uh, so it sounds a bit like this. Rather than less easy to do when you're sitting down, has to be said. Um, but that that I think is pretty much essential um, for most people to get that kind of uh, vibrato. Um, 
because it just it means that you're in a really simple way adding some real tone and um, uniqueness to your notes they're, they're not just boring straight notes they're, they're going places um, so that I think is essential um, also I think quite useful with chords um, I think they sound quite nice with chords so rather than sorry that was how I would prefer to sound but rather than this You can do what I did first time. Um, it, it just makes makes notes nice. It's, a, it's a, a very useful skill to have. Um, I don't like I said. I don't exactly know how you would teach it exactly, um, but you can get the same effect by. I mean, I'm sitting down, but you get the idea. Um, by say draw on the four. And then hit yourself in your solar plexus. Uh, not very hard, but just just enough to kind of take a teeny bit of air out of your out of you. So let's try again. So you see where where that air is coming from. Um, so I guess you can you can kind of try and recreate the sound without hitting yourself in the solar plexus. I guess that would be the the um, the best way of doing it. Um, and then there's uh, hand vibrato, which is probably the the kind of easiest one. Uh, pretty much everyone can get it. it uh, like old um, cowboy style uh, vibrato. Sort of. Um, and again, there's plenty, there's plenty of styles um, and plenty of ways of doing it. Um, but worth kind of, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a kind of cowboy style. You can you can fit it into into blues, I suppose. Something like that. I know it's it, it's not. Uh, it it can be re really really useful. Um, then, oh yeah, one thing I did want to just say quickly about hands, um, is a good way to practice, um, your, your kind of like the natural cup of your hands is to, um, find a riff that you like, I don't know, roots, you know. And then just cut. I mean, you you wouldn't be doing this naturally, but just by way of practice, try and accentuate the start of every um, note. And I think the more you practice that, you, you just get used to it. The only the only thing is, it's just it's a really good idea to start with a solid bass because I started and I got it so wrong and I practiced and practiced and practiced it wrong and then I had to relearn it so uh, worth starting on a, on a good note uh, well anyway uh, thank you for watching I hope that's been in some way helpful um, and hopefully I'll see you sooner next time